Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be looking at this Lancia Stratos Turbo Sonic Control Systems uh, remote control car for want of a better word by uh, Hales or Hales. This is a, a 1970s item, the decals on the side leading to um, this event, this uh, fifth Giro d'Italia, um, that happened in 1976. That place is this late 70s, possibly in 76. Uh, the box has a little bit of um, fading over the, over the years uh, due to light exposure. So the reds are a little bit more back down there, as you can see, and some fading on there. Um, but on the whole, in pretty good condition. The box was just held in place, the flaps by uh, four staples. So you can see the four original staples going around there. Underneath one of them, there's a little bit of a tear just there leading up to the staple, um, but nothing that I wanted to uh, set about repairing because it, it's not too bad as it is. So first you have that really nice looking box that would look, not, um, look good on any shelf, especially if you're a, a Lancia fan. And the reason I wanted to restore this one was because I loved the fact that it it harked back to that day when you'd commonly see um, tobacco branding, cigarette branding in, within motorsport. So, you know, Marlboro on here, uh, which you just don't see in this day and age. So really liked that about it. So looking inside the box and then going on to how it works, because it's a sonic control system. So inside, you can see the car there. Not sure what would have been here, maybe, I don't know, some tires or something like that. I'm not sure, um, but nothing that I can see that would, would maybe, maybe the sticker pack, something like that actually. So in here you have the, um, the clicker that operates it. So what's really interesting about this style is the, uh, you don't control it with um, radio frequency. There's no batteries at all in this. It is simply a clicker makes that noise and as we'll see uh, in a minute because it's just a noise that can also you can also just do things like clap your hand and also just when it bumps into things the noise of doing that will also make it change direction so it's quite clever in that respect having a look at the car again you've got a lovely kind of old school um, 70s look of the car it's got its sound receiver up there and then you've got your kind of tobacco um, advertising around it uh, I'd say the body's in pretty good condition there's nothing major uh, with it um, there's a couple of points to note so there was some uh, corrosion in the battery bay I've cleaned it up as much as possible and what you generally find on some of the older uh, toys is that I think like double A's back in the back in the day used to just be a little bit thinner. Whenever you find a toy, they're always a snug fit. So you can still fit your four double A's in, but you have to kind of squeeze them in. It, like you'll put three in and the last one wants to, you push in the last one and the first one wants to pop out. You can get them all in. So there's a little, a little bit of light of corrosion still in there, but nothing that's now stopping that working. On top of that, I've also opened it up, checked inside and replaced one of the broken cogs on the motor so it all drives correctly. And the only minor thing I've done, which you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out, was um, because over time, the rubber uh, on the inside of the wheels had kind of expanded out to a point where it was just rubbing slightly. So on this one, it's okay. I've left it as it is. But on the other side, you can see I've just trimmed the inside, but the inside rubber back so that it doesn't um, rub against here and, and stop it moving. But you're not going to see it on the outside and I'm just pointing it out on the inside and that's just to help it um, move better on the ground. Very simple operation, so that's the car and you've got your on-off switch. So when you turn it on, that's, that's the car now moving and it's reacting to my voice, which is why it keeps, it keeps changing there. When I'm quiet, you'll see, but if I click or talk, you can see, it, click or talk, you can see it change direction. So if you're quiet, to, to overcome that, if it was being really sensitive, there is actually a little sensitivity um, dial here, currently up to number four, but obviously if you took it down, it would be less sensitive to noise. So very simple uh, in terms of its operation. And in fact, what you didn't see when I opened it up, which you've got the, um, there's a top lid that just sits on top. And then 
inside there's some instructions here so what it basically talks about is the sensitivity the clicker but you can see here it's talking about how it, you drive around in a kind of if you did it once it would be going backwards if you clicked it again it would go forwards if you did it a third time it would go backwards so it kind of basically does two moves it goes forward or it turns back and left so you'll see if you want to change direction you basically reverse up until the point you then want to go forward and, and you move off so it's very simple operation so i've done enough talking and i'll now demo it in use i'm going to go into a wide angle just here in the kitchen and i'll show you it uh, driving around so just move this out of the way and i'm going to be quiet now whilst i drive it and then um i'll show you maybe commentate on a couple of bits um so yeah let's just go for it So as you can see, click goes forward, reverse and left. And then when you want to go forward again, you click it again and you can drive around. So if I, there you can see by clapping, it works, but you can see how you can just actually quite accurately drive your vehicle around just using that one reverse mode. And then if, you're, if you crash into something, the noise wakes it up. And then if should it hit backwards into something, See if I can make it go backwards into something here. Oh, not quite. You get the idea, if it went backwards into something, you would then move forwards. So finish off coming around to us. And pick it up. So you can see, Really actually quite fun, responsive, very novel way of controlling it. Using the clicker, you can use your hands, you can change the sensitivity. All driving nicely. Uh, lovely 70s uh, design on here. It would display nicely out or next to the box. And the fact that it drives and works and everything is also really good as well. So um, that's it for the video. If you've got any qu uh, questions or comments, please just free feel free to pop them below. Um, other than that, uh, all the best. Take care and see you in the next one.